Welcome to Marnie's Storytime. Hello and welcome to Marnie's Storytime again. We're still keeping in with a little bit of a Halloween theme and we might find a creepy castle in our story today. I'm going to do it a little different because these little books are quite long and we're going to half the story. So you'll have to watch the next video to see the ending. But you may not have heard of these people and these are called the Poddington Peas. And the stories are by Paul Needs and the pictures have been illustrated by Colin Wyatt. And this one is called Dopey Gets Lost. You'll notice all the names will have P after them and a play on their words. So this one is dough as in cooking dough and P as in dopey might be a little bit dopey. Our first little page here tells us about the Poddington Peas. One day, while I was digging in my garden, I discovered a village of little flower pots. In this village lived the Poddington Peas. The peas soon became my friends and began to tell me stories of their adventures. In return, I promised to keep the secret of where they lived. So this is one of the many stories that they have told me. There's a picture there of the little Poddington village where all the Poddington peas live in their flower pots. Maybe you've got a secret village at the bottom of your garden. Let's have a look. Up in Creepy Castle. Creepy sat at the head of his huge table, waiting for his supper. What would his loyal servant, Black Eyed P, would have cooked for him for dinner? Creepy licked his lips as he imagined a tasty bowl of soup, followed by his favourite rock cakes, and then a lovely creamy custard tart to finish. But as usual, <laughs> Creepy was wrong. Black-eyed P served him the only thing he knew how to cook, and it was burnt toast. Not sure about that. I know, I don't like burnt toast. <laughs> Creepy pushed the burnt toast away and looked out the window of Creepy Castle. He could see someone in the distance. A busy figure was hurrying beyond the creepy carrot patch, carrying a basket. It was Dopey. Dopey was the baker. On his unusual bread round. It was unusual because he delivered in the evening and not in the morning. But then they didn't call him Dopey for nothing. Creepy rubbed his empty stomach and he thought of warm new bread. And then, as he watched Dopey, he had an idea. If his plan worked, Creepy's problems with his meals would be over. The next evening, as it was getting dark, Creepy sneaked down from Creepy Castle to the signpost at the edge of the creepy carrot patch. As the carrots looked on, Creepy switched the sign around. And there I think he's doing a dastardly deed. I wonder what this is going to do. Later that evening, Dopey arrived at the signpost. That's strange. He thought, this doesn't look like the way to Poddington. But who would be silly enough to switch the sign? He's thinking about it. What will he do? Dopey set off following the sign for Poddington. He was looking forward to getting back to his bakery and having a leftover roll. He didn't notice 
that he was walking right through the creepy carrot patch. He didn't even notice he was walking up through the rockery. And that creepy castle was looming above. Oh, we do have a creepy castle made out of flower pots. Mm. The creepy carrots watched as Dopey went up to the door of Creepy Castle. They didn't want to cry out and warn him in case they ended up in one of his carrot cakes. Dopey looked at the sign hanging on the castle door and it said, Bakery. And underneath it said, Honest. It didn't look at all like Dopey's Bakery. But the sign said it was. So it must be, thought Dopey. I expect I'd better knock. He's not very smart, is he? The door creaked open. And Dopey walked nervously inside as the door bang slammed shut. Creepy. Snarled. Aha! A trespasser! Your punishment will be to spend the rest of your life cooking for me! And that's where I'm leaving it today. What will happen to Dopey? What will Creepy make him do? Mm. You'll have to watch the next video now for the Poddington Peas final ending. I'll talk to you next time on Storytime. That was a great story we chose today. And if you want to hear it again, just press the replay button. And don't forget to meet me here next time for another classic adventure into the land of stories. Press subscribe and the bell icon for notifications so you can see new stories when they get posted and see my channel with its playlist of stories for you to choose from in Marnie's library. Press the thumbs up or the like button if you like the story today and comment if you want to and I will reply when I can and we'll talk about our story.